Have you ever wondered what would happen if you spent 24 hours in solitary confinement? Well, I'm gonna put it to the test. So watch as I try to complete it. That's right, for the next 24 hours, I will be locked in solitary confinement with limited food, no human interaction, having no sense of what time it is, and closed blinds. So I am probably gonna go insane. Now let me explain all the rules. I don't have a lot of food. I have cereal for the morning, two Lunchables for lunch and dinner, and snacks, crackers and fruit snacks. That is enough. I have two snacks and main course meals. So let me put all my food back in here. And the other rules are gonna be right here. I'm not allowed to use my phone or any electronics. And those, there, I have no electronics in here. I have closed the blinds. Let me show you guys. My blinds are closed. A little light is coming in. But other than that, I have no idea what time it is. I have no clocks in my room. And uh, I don't have a phone with me. So I'm gonna have no time. And I have to stay in for the 24 hours. But if I leave early, because I have a 24 hour timer set. So when it goes off, I can leave. But until then, I have no idea. I could have already been in here for 15 minutes, an hour. I have no idea how long I have even been in here. I don't even know how I'm gonna entertain myself for these next 24 hours. So it's um, 9 a.m. right now. Well, when I started th this challenge, it was 9 a.m. And I'm gonna be going locked in this room with no human interaction, limited food, till 9 a.m. tomorrow. Literally. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, no electronics. I just have to stay in this room for 24 hours. All right, time lapse time. And this was the moment in the challenge when I realized how hard this was actually gonna be, realizing that it was just me and my thoughts. I had nothing to do. I'm probably gonna get bored and end up eating all my food because when you're bored, you kind of want to have something so you eat. But I have limited food, so I'm not gonna waste all my food like that. Well, honestly, um, man, what if I do some push-ups to pass the time? Now you can definitely tell how bored I actually am in this challenge. I haven't done a video on it yet, but like, this is my Prime collection. I have all of the ones on the shelves. Now I just gotta get the Dodgers Prime and the limited edition ones. Um, yeah, I got all of them now, and they're color coordinated. For some reason, I decided to knock on the walls and just make weird noises. I wonder how many Funko Pop boxes I can stack on top of each other. Let me get all of them. Can we just take a moment to appreciate that, that is six Funko Pop boxes? Stacking Funko Pop boxes kept me entertained for a while, but after a while I got boring and I decided to put them all away back where they belong. Well, I have food and I should probably resort to what I do best, review food. So what's up guys, today we're going to be trying fruit snacks. I can't get them open, wait, I think I have scissors. Bet. Well, if I go insane, I have scissors, so, fun. Alright, so, we're going to be reviewing the red fruit snack. I'd have a very fruity flavor, I'd have to give it 8.5 out of 10, they're superior. I'd say I'm about like 30 minutes into this challenge. Honestly, if this video does well, I had a couple other ideas if I weren't gonna do 24 hours in solitary confinement. I wanna get Lucas in on this or one of Brooks or Lucas in and being 24 hours trapped with each other and see if we go crazy and kill each other. No, why did I wanna beat up the bear? That was the last time we saw that bear. I think I'm getting close to an hour in this challenge. This is gonna be tough, but I'm good right now. I think I could definitely last the entire challenge, but the hard part's gonna be night. Comment down below right now how long you think I'm gonna make it in this challenge. Don't cheat and rewind the video. I found a mini basketball. This basketball really did entertain me for a while. It really helped. So if I, I just gotta make it really through this day because once I go to sleep, I go to sleep and then I wake up, then 
I just gotta basically sleep till 9 a.m. So I just basically gotta finish today. I'm getting so bored. I kind of forgot like that. I literally can't do really anything. If I were to guess, I'd say I'm about an hour into this challenge. This is so annoying. I literally set my phone like right over there and I could literally hear it like going vroom, vroom, because I have my phone on vibrate, but I literally see it and I cannot check on it. So I literally, before I left for the challenge, I heard the group chat talking with Lucas Brooks and Oliver and Oldham. So like, um, I wonder what they're talking about right now because before I left, I literally just said I'm going 24 hours in solitary confinement. So uh, I wonder what they're yapping about right now. So um, group chat, if you're watching, just know that I'm curious. I can hear my dog scratching on my door. It's so annoying. I got so bored, so bored. In fact, I just began to jump on my bed repeatedly and hit the gritty on it. W fit, am I right? The pajamas and the bright blue shirt. I'm in bed right now. I don't know, I just feel so tired. Honestly, I can just sleep through this entire challenge, but I'm gonna try not to sleep. I'm probably gonna go to bed late so I can get more content in. So, see you guys in a sec. I'd say it's about like 9.30 and I've been in the challenge probably for like two hours. I don't think I've ever gone this long without like literally talking to anybody. Well, I mean, I'm talking to you guys, but like, this is gonna, this is going to be the longest time. 24 hours, just no electronics or people. Yeah, I can hear my dogs out there. I want to get out, but I cannot get out this early. I'm genuinely starting to slow down, so I'm gonna just keep going. I'm gonna touch the door and then touch the wall and see how many times I can do it. Let's do a time lapse. Yeah, you heard me correct. I just counted how many times I could go touch the door and touch the blinds. Touch the door and touch the blinds. 57, 58. I'm just gonna stop there. I think I'm about hour three in so this video, or two and a half, so I'm just gonna push through the rest of it. I don't know why, but suddenly I just have a boost of energy and I'm like super hungry, so I'm gonna eat something. If I started like 8.40, I think it's about like 10 right now. And they just put what time it actually is like right here, so. Actually, excuse me, I'm just gonna have crackers, not a Lunchable, because I feel like I wanna save my food, so I'm gonna eat this real quick. Right now, I'm not even actually hungry. I'm just so bored that I begin to eat. If it actually is like 10.30, because that's what time I really think it is, um, I think I can push through. Because if I'm already like two and a half hours in, I can do this. Light work, no reaction. Out of all my primes, which one is your guys' favorite? Oh, out of all the flavors, I'm working to get the Dodgers prime and I'm probably gonna order it. My personal favorite is the lemonade one and probably, um, Probably blue raspberry too, I'd have to say. I am trying to get into some more long form content, so I feel like you guys may be able to figure that out by now. My guess for right now, I think it's 11 a.m. right now, so hopefully I'm right. Last night, I watched the 50 of the best YouTubers compete for a million dollars on Mr. Beast's channel, and I don't get why I, me and Lucas were invited. That That's kind of, that's kind of mean. Oh my, I wanna get out! I want to get out, but I shouldn't have came too far. The crazy part is, which is making me like feel like I should leave, is like it, I feel like it's been like three hours, but it literally realistically could be like 20 minutes. I'd have to guess that I'm four hours in and have 20 hours left. My goal before I did this was to make it to at least five hours, and if I'm at like I think I'm at like hour 20, uh, I think that um. Cause I think I'll be at I'm at hour 20. I'm, I'm not for sure, but I just think I just gotta wait another hour. So I'm just gonna try to push through another hour. There's, then I'm gonna, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm we'll, we'll see where I get. I've got to say it, but I think it's noon right now. So I'm probably gonna eat lunch here in a minute. All right, I think I've accepted that. I'm not gonna be able to finish this. And this is so much harder than I thought. I thought this challenge was gonna be super easy, but I am bored out of my mind. And I don't wanna have to do this for, my guess another 20 hours that's gonna be tough and i think i made it about five hours so cut to the cool montage that i'm probably gonna do
I thought for sure I was in there five hours, but it turns out I was only in there for two hours, and I thought it was noon, but it's only 10.50 a.m. So this really turns out how hard this challenge actually did. How did Mr. Beast go seven days? Okay, well, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, have a great rest of your day.